I'm looking at your feet. <laughs> Can you imagine? A quarter of your bones are in there. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Interesting. Yeah. Want to show them your feet? We're not interviewing <laughs> my feet. Yo. No, we are not, because we've been joined on the couch here by a very interesting person, a nature explorer and also photographer. Tony Payne is in the house. Yeah. She's a multi-talented, dare I repeat, multi-talented artist known for her skills. Uh, in still life, nature, and documentary photography, as well as also being a poet yes. yeah. and also content creator, mm -hmm. podcast uh -huh. host, and public speaker. Welcome to Wake Up Tony Nature. Payne. Thank you for having me. Uh, how Good do you feel? You. I mean, having all those, I mean, being introduced and then having all those tags. You know, I was good. asking, I was like, in the introduction, is there going to be space? Is no. there <laughs> And there are no characters. I love it. It's like she's owning all the people. Say, oh no. Oh yeah. I mean, please. there's more. Please, there's more. Definitely <laughs> more. It's great to have you here. Thank with you. Us. Thanks for having me. Good. Appreciate Imagine it. how delighted I was to find out that you are also a uh, documentarian, a yes. photographer. Yes. I mean, that's so exciting. It is exciting. It is exciting. I say, um, photography is like the greatest art form. Mm -hmm. That is also very underrated. You mm. know. But it is the greatest art form because that's the only art form that allows you to freeze moments in exactly. time. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Boom. You said it. Yeah. Yeah. A, and for someone like me who loves nature, mm -hmm. I grew up watching David Attenborough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know. Yeah. yeah. Of course. He, um, well. <laughs> nature, the way he speaks and Super. everything. So it, nature is a very big part of my life. You that's might awesome. not know that, but this is true. This is true. <laughs> so that's why I was so delighted. And we saw a couple of your pictures. They're so beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. I. I I discovered that I have a talent for something else. <laughs> so now tell me about I like I like the journey, right? But before the journey, more importantly, I like the story that literally leads to the journey. So tell me, where did this all start for, for your creative side? My when creative you, side. Yeah, like when did you realize, I mean, I have this thing, I think I need to explore it like fully. So I've always known I had a creative side. I studied video digital art mm. nice. in school. So it was always there kind of like dormant. Um, and way back when, when I decided to get into the entertainment industry mm -hmm. one of my things was oh i'm gonna get into the entertainment industry and i'm gonna do docs and maybe even music videos mm -hmm. and things like that and mm -hmm. some way somehow i fell into management mm -hmm. and yeah. pr mm -hmm. and I, I had fun you know it was fun but you know when you're passionate about something it always still pulls Combine. you back yes yeah. so um back in 2013 um i was like you know what i'm gonna go back to my the roots the original yeah. the original the Raw original blueprint mm -hmm. yeah. you know and i was like okay so but how do you go from what i've been building all these years mm -hmm. to start i mean i didn't mind starting afresh mm -hmm. how do you go from that to like what next mm -hmm. right um so that was my what next and initially it was going to be documentaries mm -hmm. and short films mm -hmm. and i kind of just fell in love with photography mm -hmm. just seeing stills and just like oh wow Mm. This happened, yeah. and I captured this moment, and yeah. it's here forever. Yeah. So mm. now I, I know people appreciate photography, but I think in a different way than you actually um, express. Now we see birthdays, babies, everybody's taking pictures, pictures. of themselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, social media and all mm -hmm. of that now. But then again, documentary or let's say photography that has to do with historic. Um, for, um, part of things. I mean, capturing those moments and yeah. seeing those pictures from times that we literally, that story, pictures that tell stories. Before we were born, you're right? Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Before we were born. So now, how do you um, um, appreciate, I mean, what's happening now in the world of, in the space of um, photography? Photography. Would I say as opposed to that or like in line with that? How, so, how would you see um, that? So, for me, um, I am more in love with the mundane. Mm -hmm. So, I like to capture things that people would overlook. Exactly. Something mm -hmm. you would see and walk past. Mm -hmm. Like, Right there. Like, I walked in here, and the first thing I noticed was, you know, that right there. Not all of us. Not any of you. <laughs> oh, come on. And I'm looking at it, and like, I, oh, it has pink. Fl so yeah. a lot of people will see that and just kind of walk past it. Like, it just really does not. So you're more into the details. I'm more into the details. Look, um, we're looking, we were just looking at seeing some of your pictures there. Yeah. And the detail, which you just mentioned, I'm was actually very, it's, it's very, very interesting. Oh, yeah. The closer you <laughs> get to certain things, the more you begin to think and, like, wonder, oh, that's there. Oh, that's, yeah. That's delicious, actually. <laughs> And um, the theme is, is I, I don't know how to express it, but you tell me, what's the theme behind most of your pictures? Do you have a theme that runs with Tony I, Payne? I do. What is so, it? So um, I'm a still life mm -hmm. documentary and nature photographer. Um, and still life is the mundane things that are not moving, things that are not alive, mm -hmm. um, things that, you know, I can walk into like the kitchen right now and I could put a composition together that would make you think, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. 
what is this in the what is this trying yeah. to you mm -hmm. know what is this trying to say and um I think my exposure to still life photography started with art, still life art, mm -hmm. right? The Renaissance and just, mm -hmm. you know, what are they trying to convey? What's the message they're trying to convey? And now bring in nature. So I always say I'm in love with the three Fs and mm -hmm. that's what I'm about. Food, mm -hmm. flora, and fauna. Thank so goodness. <laughs> <laughs> So fauna would be your wildlife, your animals, mm -hmm. yeah. and things like that. And then flora is the flowers, mm -hmm. um, the plants. And I mean, they're so important to us living. Mm -hmm. And I tell people, they're like, why are you so in love, mm -hmm. you know, with flowers yeah. and plants? And I'm like, so, they're so beautiful. It, yeah. But guess what? We would not be alive without, without them. them. Mm -hmm. So it's not about being a dilettante because you actually went to school for video. Uh, I did. You know, so it kind of like is in line. Yeah, it's still in line with what I studied. It's, it's, yeah. it's still in line. That's very interesting. Um, however, now, are you in it for the money? Well, <laughs> I would love to be. <laughs> but you know what? I've done, you know, I've done a lot of things oh, mm -hmm. for the money. But mm -hmm. this is more of a passion. This is a, it's a passion project for mm -hmm. me. Yeah. But I would, everybody wants their passion to pay their mm -hmm. bills, right? So mm -hmm. you can continue doing it. Um, it's not something that I'm going to give up regardless of if mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. money in it. But then I'm an artist as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I sell art. So that's how I fund a lot of, oh. my, a lot of my projects is yeah. by selling um, my art. Mm -hmm. And when mm -hmm. somebody purchases my art, they help keep the movement going. Going. Okay. Yeah. So I'm actually going to show you a picture I took and ask you, Okay. do I have something here? That's I actually it. took <laughs> a picture of one of my mom's goats. Oh, oh nice. Wow. Right? It's, it's, and the fact was, that you did that is yeah. a start. Oh, so really? So I see that. Well, I wish we could. Oh, nice! See, you do have something see. going. I would have. I would have. Look at the character. You see that? I can yeah. already see like. Let me let me let me let me, let me, just, let me see if I can show the camera this. Yeah. Please don't eat me. Yeah. <laughs> can we, who there can zoom in on this? About it. It this. was really. It, it was captivating. It's, yeah. Right. Drew. They have beautiful in. eyes. Yeah, by they the way. do. And I actually do take some pictures of some um, flowers and all of that see? as well. I we. Think I think we all have like a little bit of it in us. Yeah. And I think it's just having somebody remind us that it's in us and we should kind of bring it out. Let's, let's show that goat again. Let's see if we can yeah. zoom in on, on Winfrey's. I'm more interested in the family. I love it. Your mother, your mother has goats. Yeah, she has goats. Yes. She and does. not just her one, but quite a few. Now, do you see, see the other one? They're so cute. Where, 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 the, other where, the other way. Be careful not to show pictures we don't want to see. See you. that? Okay. Yeah, totally loved it. I, just I love it. To go in and it was like beautiful. It was very interesting. Yeah, okay. so that's what I do when I go, go home. So I take yeah, pictures. Of you so do you, think, do you think I could pick it up? this mm -hmm. talent i think anybody can it's just again like i said if you have a passion then i have to something. fight through the community and be relevant how do i get relevant i wouldn't worry about that just yet really? i would just enjoy the process that's like that's like leaving home and saying i'm going out but i don't have a destination i want to be relevant so what yeah, can i do different i think you know again like i said don't worry about that just mm -hmm. when you're in love with something and you're mm -hmm. passionate about something the relevance will come mm -hmm. okay. right i mean if you have relevance and you're not passionate about it, you're going to get tired. All right, and then I, you I, move I, on I to got, something. I got one. All right. Relevance, <laughs> pictures. <laughs> um, so passion for photography, passion for um, music PR. Uh -huh. Which one outweighs the other? Oh, definitely photography. photography. Really? Because it's my thing. Music PR was, uh, um, I was passionate about that because I was good at it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was, I mean, like, not to like toot my own horn. When I was in Nigeria doing um, management, I was one of the best. Mm -hmm. And that was what kept me. So can you say that again? I didn't hear. <laughs> <laughs> say it again. So, so, you know, you have a name of an artist. Tony oh, Payne. Tony Payne is like, I can see yeah. that. Right? Like so music. fancy. Yeah, it's a fancy like Tony Payne. <laughs> and it's my real name. It's your so. real name. Yes, Amazing. Yes. So now there's a part of you that's actually a poet. Yes. Right? Along the other things. So I now, do would you say, I, I noticed with a lot of photographers or artistic people or people that paints, there's yeah. always that poetry, poetry yes. part of things. Mm -hmm. So now, yes. where, where does that play out for you? Um, so I'm like a big, like, hopeless romantic. So a lot of my poems are kind of centered around love and life. Mm -hmm. um, not nature, funny enough, mm -hmm. but, you know, I've thought about writing nature, mm -hmm. like something that would, you know, make people pay attention to. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, I do have a nature one. I have, yeah. a, I have two. Yeah. A flower is just a flower until it's not. A rose is just a rose until it's not. Mm -hmm. So I have a couple don't, of don't, actual Don't nature. stop. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. for you today. Well, let's talk about your documentary. Uh, What's the? What is, your, what is it about? What's it called? No. Um, so my what I document. Um, so I do. You have a documentary coming up, don't you? Oh, and so the kind of documentaries that I'm planning to do is just um, to create awareness about sustainability. Okay. 
created awareness about climate impact mm -hmm. and uh, just our environment, mm -hmm. why it's important for us to um, mm -hmm. preserve, mm -hmm. um, conserve, mm -hmm. and plant. You've got that project, One Million Plants for Change. Yes. So that's what One Million Plants for Change is ah. about. So One Million Plants for Change is kind of used my influence to encourage people to get to planting, get to falling in love with nature, especially the younger ones. Mm -hmm. um, my goal is to kind of catch them young, mm -hmm. you know, get them involved, get them. Is that something we don't do right in Nigeria? We don't, we, do we don't infuse that I, I nature think, into kids early? So I think a lot of kids in Nigeria have a love for it naturally. Mm -hmm. Because you see them out, you know. They I, gravitate to Yeah, I that. recently, well, we recently discovered um, this plant called, <laughs> I'm not sure if I can even say this. Let's hear it. It's called Padimo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So when I, I mean, I, obviously, because I shuttled a lot between America and here, I was never exposed to Padimo, but everybody seemed to know what Padimo what is. is it? like, what is it? It's this, it's a touch me not. It's oh, like it folds. A, oh, yeah. yeah. When you touch it, it oh. folds. And everybody here knows it. Mm -hmm. And when I, when I saw it, I was like, oh, my God. I was excited. I was like, oh, my God, this plant does this. And everybody's <laughs> like, that's Padimo, Padimo. I was like, what? Wow, that's very and interesting. They were like, oh, when we were kids, we used to be, like, people were talking about how they were kids, and they used to love the plant, play with it. So I'm like, it's there naturally, right? But it just, you know. We just, just never pay attention little, to it. Yeah, yeah. we need Tell that little what, encouragement yeah. to showcase it. We're going to have you here on the show because we have a very interesting, very optical type game that we're going to play. And we need you okay. because you have such prowess with your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to be playing along with us. So let's no do problem. a short break. When we get back, it's going to be the games.